Hello, my name is Anne Timmerman. I'm from TMR Design, New York-based branding and architecture studio. We're working with a lot of fashion and technology brands with LVMH, Richemont, as well as with Isemiyaki and Shizeda and on technology side with NVIDIA. My partner and I both studied in California. I studied architecture and design technology at UC Berkeley. My partner studied brand design. We work with brands to develop their visual codes or brand geometry. Visual codes are shapes, forms, or visual motifs that people associate with the brand. That's what connects brand with products and architecture. We often work with brand archives to expand brand visual language. We also find new interpretations of familiar visual motifs. My main personal project is contemporary patterns. That's a huge topic that connects history and identity. We recognize whole region or historic periods by their patterns. We can also look at patterns outside of the historic context, such as looking at pattern as an organizing principle that guides design. And yet another way to look at pattern is through writing or weaving. I'm thinking of the work of German sculptor Günther Jücker. He created a series of paintings of fields where uh, rows of dashes, dots, and sometimes written symbol gain optical quality. And through repetition, they gain new meaning. Industry professionals often analyze the value and performance of a brand using numerical parameters. How would you describe a brand and how does brand design work? There are many ways for evaluating performance and feeding the results back into the design process. The numeric analysis becomes especially seductive, attractive using new technologies, but numeric approach can only lead to technical and efficient work. It leaves out work in good faith to realize a vision or to connect to one's past. In describing a brand, our main criterion is memory. How do you remember the brand? The collection just shows. What were the most memorable pieces? Would you remember that 10 years from now? What would you remember after visiting a store? Can you draw what a show looked like? The brand is what we remember about it. And brand design is one of the arts of memory. Climate change, pandemic, war, and now inflation. The world is probably on the verge of a profound change. In your opinion, what will the future hold? I think in response to climate change, war, all of these problems, the reaction would be that a lot of design and architecture will become technical, driven by production technology, efficiency, cost engineering, and increasingly fewer and fewer luxury projects will remain where concept or art would still have a role to play. Also, on the good side, design could become mass customized to use available and local materials. AI perhaps could be used to plan how to turn available found objects and materials to use in manufacturing. Also, design could become more inclusive and open-ended. I'm thinking of uh, half-built social housing by Chilean architect Alejandra Aravena. Half of the house is built. The other half is just covered by the roof and people can do whatever they want, building, decorating and planting. The system is open. Another prediction, my favorite one, was made by William Flusser some 30 years ago. Uh, he was saying that manufacturing and learning will converge and the factory will become the place in which human beings all together would learn by means of robots what, why and how to turn things to use. We both remember the fashion of the 90s. Designers like Alexander McQueen and Margiela blended fashion and art, creating great performances and always starting with a strong concept. Then, with a few exceptions, everything became more predictable. Is there any way to recover that energy? Well, that's a very good question. For me, it's drawing without a computer, working at full scale, making large paper models. Um, thinking of uh, Martin Margiela and McQueen, it's perhaps breaking the rules or not following instructions. Both uh, Margiela and McQueen worked 
at the same time with and against the system, against the apparatus of fashion. Margiela took rough found objects and put them together with fine tailoring, like French couture. Or he kept breaking the rules of branding and media with white labels, white stores, no logo, no printing invitation, no faces or no models at all. And of course, to regain the energy, we should be able to imagine the future without fear. Even if because of climate change, we'd have to adapt and to live in water, like in McQueen's Plata de Atlantis. And that one I find especially difficult personally, even though I can swim. We have to make more patterns.